Hi, and welcome to the section on Managing Our World. It's great, it's great having you here. Great, great job, job already. already. In the previous section, we learned about various testing strategies. In, in this, this section, section, we will see how we can set up a server-side server side infrastructure, infrastructure, how we can manage the way our world in the game looks like by changing the data in a NoSQL database and asking for data with a REST API. We will first set up a REST API. Then we will look at how to manage MongoDB. We will then look in how to write basic queries for MongoDB. We and last, connect we will connect together everything together in our application. To the first now, video of we this move section, on to the first video of this section that deals with setting up a REST API. In, in this, this video, video we're, we're going to take, to take a, look a look at the basics, at the basics of, Dart .io. of Dart .io. We will see we how will to see use how Shelf use and shelf RPC and to create some REST create endpoints. Some REST endpoints. Then, we, then we will return, return JSON data, data with our REST API. First of all, we're going to create a file server.dart and we're going to add it Later into a folder we'll called lib. Later on, lib. we will see why added it into folder lib. Every, Every Dart, Dart program, program has a main, a main function. function. In, In this, this main, main function, function we're, we're going, going to start, start an HTTP an server. HTTP server. You, you will notice, notice that we're we using, using asynchronous programming, synchronous programming here, here with the two with the keywords, two keywords async, async await. await. Now we can start our Dart program. When we now go to, to the local, local host, host colon 8082, that you will see that our web server works. works. It, prints it prints out hello world. world. This, this is not a REST server, a rest course, server. but this implementation it's a very is to low lower level the level. Let us take a look at the shelf package. The next, the next step, step is including, is including the, dependency the dependency of the RPC package. Now, now we need to do, we need to pub do a get pub get in our, in our lib folder. folder. Now, now we, we can change, change our Dart .io code, code a little bit to work with the, work RPC, with the RPC codes. codes. We instantiate, all, we instantiate an API server. An API. Also, we need, we need to import, import our RPC package. Our RPC package. We can and pass this pass object, this object to, the to the server object. object. Now, now we, need, we to need to implement our, our API. API. Some some companies In some companies, you have a software architect that will design, that will design for APIs for you. Case, In our case, the API is very simple. We will accept an X and Y coordinate and return some information of the environment, of the environment based upon these coordinates. First of all, we're going to design a class world. This class is going to represent our API. With the annotations of the RPC package, we can set up an API very easily. First of all, you need to define a version on your API. Then, then, in, in the that API, API class, you can define, you can define API, API, API methods. In our case, in our case we define a world info method that, that returns, returns info based, upon, based X upon X and Y coordinates. And y coordinates. This, this API, API returns, returns a terrain object. object. The REST API post, method can be a get, a post, put, delete request, head, delete request, request depending, on depending on what that method on does server. on the server. On a put, on a put, you are mostly going to update the data that was sent to that REST API method, for example. In our case, we use a GET method because we ask for information to our API. Now, we need to add our world class to our API server object in the main method. Now, now we can restart, we can restart our, our server, server again. 
When that, that is done, done we, can we can look at, at our result, result in the browser. browser. And we when go we go to the, the correct URL, URL we, can we can see, see the, the results, results of our work. Of our work. What, what is REST API? API? REST stands for, stands for Representational, Representational State, State Transfer. Transfer. It is identified by universal, universal resource, resource indicator, indicator, and it has methods get, post, and it has put, method, delete, get, head, post, and post, so on. Delete, in, in this video, we have seen, we have seen how, how to set, set up a REST API, API with Dart and some, and some other Dart facets of Dart. In the next, in the next video, video, we will take, we will a, take look a look at how to, how to use, MongoDB use MongoDB and how to add data to MongoDB, to MongoDB very easily.